Lana, when you were 22 years old, you came to this very place, seeking a healed connection to Jewish tradition. And four years ago, you and I traveled here together during Sukkot, your favorite holiday, right after your birthday, to sit beneath canopies and booths in the starlight, making blessings and studying Talmud all night long. And James was here. The two of you had seen one another before. You both tell the story of the first night that you met at a dinner party in Brooklyn, how each of you sidled up to a friend afterward and said, who is that? You were instantly sparked, deeply aware of one another. And then we found ourselves here in this exact, exact field. When James arrived to celebrate the holiday and Alana, you said to me, I'm really crushed out on that one. As James describes it, I saw Alana and a thrill went through me. In this place, you began to share the stories of your lives. You began to laugh and make up silly songs together, to fall asleep under a sukkah on the earth and wake up the next morning in love. Beside you are not lost. Wherever you are is called here, and you must treat it as a powerful stranger. You must ask permission to know it and be known. The forest breathes. Listen. It answers, I have made this place around you. There are people here who've known you for your whole lives, people here who have known you for their whole lives. There are people who have helped raise you, and there are people who have known you for a handful of years, maybe, that have felt like a lifetime. Welcome home. James, I bless you with the ability to grow and sustain the homes you desire. Alana, I bless you with the knowledge that you have already created the networks vast enough to hold you and sustain you wherever you are. Alana and James, exhale. <laughs> and then breathe into this moment. <laughs> Allow yourself to arrive into this field with your beloveds and the breath of all life. There is nothing more to do, but let us carry you. Because you are here.